So I just stumbled on this thing called Seedbox Lite that lets you stream torrents instantly. Like you don't even have to wait for the download to finish. Wait so it streams while downloading. That's interesting. How does that actually work? Is it buffering or something? Exactly, it starts playing as the torrent pulls data in. Kind of like a combination of Netflix and torrenting, two worlds colliding. That's a wild mix. But doesn't that raise some copyright issues? I mean, if it's streaming torrents. Totally, they mention it's just for legal content, but I feel like the lines are super blurry there. Who really decides what's legal? Right, plus, there's the whole responsibility thing. Users have to be aware of this. It's like, are we sure people will read those disclaimers? Exactly, it's like the fine print nobody ever looks at. But back to the tech, what struck me is how fast the setup is with Docker. Oh, Docker makes deployment smoother, right? But I wonder about how many people are familiar with it. That could be a barrier. Good point, but once it's running, the interface is designed to be super user-friendly. Almost like a simplified Netflix, which is appealing. True, a familiar interface might lure folks in. But is it as responsive on mobile devices? It seems to promise mobile optimization. Yes, and they claim it has gesture controls too. But honestly, how well do those features translate in real-world usage? I'd need to test that. Right, optimization sound good on paper, but usability can really differ. Plus, what about video quality? Does it compromise anything there? Good question. They mentioned support for multiple formats like MP4 and MKV. But still, I wonder how that plays out with streaming speed. Speed is crucial. If it's laggy, viewers will bounce. And you also have to consider caching. How intelligently does it handle that? The smart caching feature sounds promising, but then is it truly smart? Sometimes these claims can be inflated. Right, there's always that concern about marketing hype. I mean, is the caching even configurable like they say? Great catch, it's all about control for users. I also found the password protection feature interesting. Security is huge, especially lately. Absolutely, it's smart to include that. But it makes me question, how secure are these systems really, though? You wonder about vulnerabilities, right? With any platform handling personal data, there's always that risk. Yep, and even if they're using encryption, there's still the human factor. How many people actually change those default passwords? Exactly, default passwords are a hacker's gold mine. But I'm also impressed by the health monitoring features they mentioned. Health monitoring, that's definitely a step up. It seems like an easy way to avoid downtime, which is crucial for any streaming service. Right, less downtime means happier users, yet I wonder if it's possible to overmonitor. Can that lead to performance issues? Wow, that's a good point. Too much monitoring could potentially interfere with performance. It's a balancing act. So true, and think about scaling, what happens when it gains popularity? They mention load balancing, but will it hold up? That's a key concern. Scaling can be a nightmare. I hope they've considered horizontal scaling adequately. I guess we'll find out as more people start using it. Overall, it seems like a neat concept, but with nuanced risks. Definitely. It's like an exciting frontier for torrent streaming. But I'm left thinking, how would mainstream media react to this? Oh man, that could stir some debate. Imagine headlines about torrent streaming rights versus copyright laws. Right, that could set off a series of legal battles. I can see it now, streaming versus downloading like an epic showdown. And here we are caught in the middle. The tech advances rapidly, but the laws seem stuck in the past. Exactly. So as users of this tech, we have to be proactive, understanding both the capabilities and the limitations. Yeah, it's about being informed. So what's the takeaway for our listeners here? I'd say staying informed on how tech like Seedbox Lightworks is critical, especially around legalities. It's a mixed bag of opportunity and risk. And to keep your eyes open, there's a fine line between innovation and infringement. What are the potentials and at what cost? Absolutely. It's all about navigating that landscape wisely in a world where streaming is evolving. So let's keep the conversation going and see where this tech takes us in the future. For sure, looking forward to seeing how this evolves. It's all about the journey. And hopefully we learn to stream smarter along the way. I'm into that. 
I'll be keeping an eye out for what comes next.